Hey guys, I got the new EG4LL rack mounted batteries. These are the version 2's. Got six of them. That's 30 kilowatt hours. And I got the rack there. A few other things. Wire, breaker, battery charger. Uh, this is the new 120, 240, 6000 watt uh, split phase inverter. We'll do that later. But today we're just going to get these out of the box and get this set up. All right, so we got a lot of sun, about 5,000 watts there and 8,000 watts there. And it's all coming in to the old system. I've had this for six years. We're pulling down about, what, 9,000 watts. Burning about 5,000 in the house right now. L1, L2. Putting 47 amps into the old battery bank. This is These are the lead acid. Trojan, I got 16 of these, and these have worked great for six years. They're still going strong. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to put that new inverter over here and set up that as a backup system. The new bank is going to go over here where the freezer used to be, in this spot right here. I found something else to fill up the space. Let's not get sidetracked. The old freezer is over here now. All right, so we're going in right here. Let's get this thing in place. Okay, so we're going to put the caster wheels on. So just put the uh, bolts through the bottom there. And I give you the nuts. Pretty basic. So put all these in here. No worries. All right, let's take a look at this rack. We got a key, turn this, unlock it, open it up. It's your basic rack. You got one, two, three, four, five, six slots for six batteries, 30 kilowatt hours. This is where you just screw them in. You got bus bars on each side. This is a negative bus bar with the terminals for all the batteries where they connect up. And at the top, you got the main lugs that'll run your main wires back to the inverters. Over here is the positive side. They wrapped it in red heat shrink. The bus bars are in these cable trays. You can knock these out where you bring wires in. You can put a cover on here and it'll wrap it up real nice and tight. Um, yeah, it looks good. Let's get the batteries in here. So these batteries are really heavy, probably over a hundred pounds each. So I suggest you get somebody to help you slide them into the rack. Once you get them in, you just put a couple of screws on each side and that should hold it in there nice and securely. All right, guys, got them all in here. Look at that, all six of them screwed down, secured, looking real good. So in the next one, we'll go ahead and wire this up, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.